what's good what's good what is good my sizers we're back again with another video and today i will be showing you guys what a room looks like at new york new york casino so let's get into it actually before we get into it let me just note that the new york new york casino has five different elevators they are called empire chrysler century elevator new yorker a and new yorker b and certain elevators only go to certain floors so make note of that before you pop on the ele elevator it'll tell you above the elevator when we first walk in we are greeted by a full-length mirror and some hooks which i think is really cool that they're painted red i kind of feel like it's going for like a new yorker fireman vibe but who knows also on the right side is your closet your ironing board with your iron I still don't know what that thing to hold your luggage is called, but you also have that. And check out this artwork. Like that's part of like the wallpaper. I just think this is so crazy. And on the left, you have your bathroom. You walk in and it's a simple one sink, one toilet and one bath slash shower. I also like how the bathroom has decor in it as well. This is the shower. I like that the shower has shelves and a tub. And then they, of course, supply shampoo and body wash. The shower head does not come off, therefore it's not a removable shower head, so that is unfortunate. However, this is the New York, New York Casino. And honestly, so far I'm impressed. Now let's check out the mirror for this. You guys, it's so cold in Vegas right now. I can't even begin to explain it. In the mornings and super late at night, it gets super cold, but in the afternoons, it's so warm. That's Vegas for you. So if we leave the bathroom, again, this is the full length. I like how it's, it, it looks like suspenders on the mirror. And then on the left side, we have a couch. It's like a little love seat couch. So you can have someone sleep there, need be. That is also another light. I'm not sure where the switch is for that light though. And then you have a lamp, a bed. There's actually a lot of walking room. You have your TV, and underneath your TV is a bunch of available outlets, and also the power switch to the light that goes on at the top right there. And I also like how they provide you a bench. But next to the bench is, I don't even know what you call this, but I really like it. It looks so cool. So it's got a mirror, shelves, a counter. That's your ice bucket with some cups. That's a safe. If you are supposed to like put your valuables in it and stuff, that we don't have trouble with them. And then let's see if there's anything in this drawer. Nope, just um, some MGM brand empty plastic bags. Now in this shelf, however, is Oh, I didn't know it opened that way, my bad. <laughs> an empty, an empty refrigerator. So an empty refrigerator does come with the room and you can fill it up with whatever you'd like. This can is seven and a half fluid ounces. So that kind of gives you an idea of like how big you want your drinks to be on the door right here. And then if we put it on the shelf, just to give you like an idea of like how big it is. So it's not a lot of wiggle room, but it is wiggle room. And that we can appreciate. Also check that out. I think that's so cool that the drink could just sit like that. So again, this is what it looks like at its full length. I really like it. I think this is so cool. I just, I don't know, something about this structure. I just really love it. You also have another lamp, a table with two chairs, and then of course your other bedside lamp. And there's the thermostat. Oh, that's so cool. They have a, that thing that you put on your air conditioner so it blows in the direction towards you guys rather than out over here. I actually really like that. And then this door is just for an adjoining room if you, if you get the adjoining room. Now, I have been in another room where instead of this couch, there was a big hot tub. And by big, I mean like it can fit four people in it comfortably hot tub with jets in the room but other than that it looks pretty much the same as to the other room that I just saw so now let's go check out this 
view. All right, cool. So for the view, you have this handle for the curtains. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I can like never find the freaking handle to these curtains. And I really struggle with it. And it's double curtain. So this is like the lighter one, and then this is to block out all the sunlight. So anyways, our view is of the T-Mobile Arena. So that is where the Vegas Golden Knights perform. <laughs> perform, I meant play their game. What? So this is our view, and as you can see, we are looking at the T-Mobile Arena, which is where the Golden Knights have their games. You can also see the Toshiba Plaza, which is basically like right next to that parking garage. It, it technically is the parking garage. And then on the right, we have Park MGM, and I'm pretty sure you can see part of City Center over there in the right corner as well. And then straight out back there, straight ahead, is the Orleans Casino. And then if you look to the left of the T-Mobile Arena, you could see an in and out sign. So that means that street is Tropicana. And yeah, this is our view. I actually really like this view, especially because it kind of gives me a break of like looking at the strip or constantly being reminded of the strip. Um, however, I think the best part about this is the fact that we don't have to look at the sphere because I heard the sphere is keeping people awake because it's so bright. Oh, and also you can see the roller coaster, the Big Apple roller coaster right here. That's part of it. So that's pretty cool. Also just wanted to mention that this is what the elevator lobby looks like from the 31st floor. So you have the MGM Grand, Raising Kings, the Food Court, T-Mobile, things like that. And then on the right, you can see Tropicana, OEO. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have ever stayed with New York, New York, or what your guys' thoughts are on the room or other rooms you've experienced here in Vegas. And be sure to smash that subscribe button down there while you're at it. Doodles!